here's a live look at Beasley Coliseum in Pullman, where Washington State is taking on USC. And just about an hour from now, the Cougars have exceeded all expectations. They're, they're now projected to make the NCAA tournament for the first time since 2008. Yeah, Washington State has won eight of its last nine games. Our sports director, Julian Minnesota, joins us live from Beasley Coliseum in Pullman. Julian, I know you're excited about this one. Yeah, it's an exciting time for Cougar basketball right now. The team is coming off of one of its best wins in program history, a top five road win over Arizona last week. And the hero of that game was guard Jalen Wells. He hit the game tying three and the go-ahead free throw to secure the victory for the Cougars. So I wanted to find out why he is so clutch in big time situations and maybe get some basketball tips along the way. Check it out. to the gym, what's the first thing you do when you're taking shots and getting practice? Uh, first thing I always do is do some form shooting. Uh, I like to start with just one hand, so get my rhythm going uh, just so, you know, before I move out to like threes and stuff, I like to shoot inside. So if you're teaching me here, is it just there? That's not bad, yeah. Not bad? And then form up? I was, I was actually pretty good. That's not bad? Yeah. You hit a big free throw against Arizona the other day. Yeah. So you're at the line. You've taken these free throws here at practice probably more than you can count. What's going through your mind, though, in a high-pressure situation? The crowd's screaming at you. Game on the line. Honestly, I don't, I don't hear the noise when I'm at the line. I'm so focused. I think my teammates were asking me last game, like, did you hear how loud it was? I was like, not, honestly, no, I didn't. So I was just so focused. But uh, something that my, my uh, old Sonoma State coach taught me was putting your right foot like straight on the, uh, on the hoop. Because when I come with my right hand, it's just straight into the basket. All right, let me try it here. There we go. Well, I'm done for the day. I guess I don't need to do any more. Well, I did the corner because obviously that was the big shot you hit yeah. at Arizona. Did you see the rim, yes or no? I did not, but I mean, yeah, I mean, I shot, shot, probably shot a corner three a million times, so if I get the ball in the corner, I'm just gonna shoot it without even taking it. You think you could hit some right now? Of course. <laughs> It's automatic. On the spot. But yeah, so just make sure I'm getting my feet set, uh, bringing the ball, releasing at my highest point, and make sure I'm flicking my wrist. And the rest is just muscle memory. I want to try to recreate your shot here if I can do it. There we go. Two takes, not bad. Sir, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate no it. And Jalen takes over 500 shots a day, and as you can see, that practice is paying off. And Alex, I know you know this, that Derek and I play pickup basketball every Monday and Friday, but when I hit the court next, uh, I'm going to have a little bit of extra dip on my chip now that I got some uh, tips from courtesy of Mr. Jalen Wells. So Derek, watch out. All right, I'll make sure I keep the hand up on the closeout on you, Julian, for sure. All right, after months of waiting, Washington State football Football fans can finally start planning for the 2024 season as that schedule was officially revealed today. Yeah, for the past couple of months, we had an idea of who the 12 teams are going to be and where they're playing, but not the exact dates. Well, we already knew the non-conference portion uh, that starts with Portland State, Texas Tech, and then UW in the Apple Cup out in Seattle to open the season. But the mystery was the Mountain West portion of the games. The Cougs will welcome in San Jose uh, State on September 21st, and then it's a trip down to Boise to take on the Broncos. As we enter October, Washington State will only have one home game because of the two bye weeks there, but then they're going to close out the season with a home game against Utah State and then New Mex at New Mexico at Oregon State, the lone Pac-12 matchup, and then finally Wyoming at home. So after looking at those 12 games, we don't have Hawaii, you know, in Honolulu at <laughs> yeah, all, but yeah. there, is there anything that, you know, sparks your interest? San Diego State, you know, down in, you know, October's not bad. Yeah, anytime you can go to San Diego, it's a good thing. The one that actually I really am interested in is Texas Tech and Pullman. I think right. bringing a big time, big 12 team into Giza Field is going to be really, really fun to see. So yeah. looking forward to it.